गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द वीडियो वीडियो लेक्चर सो इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट मैकलर्ड मेथड ऑफ पेमेंट डिजन हियर वील डिस्कस ऑन ट्राइजल मेथड ऑफ डिजाइन ऑफ फ्लेक्सिबल पेमेंट सो इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज कानास मेथड बिकॉज दिस मेथड हैज बीन डेवलप्ड फ्रॉम काना स्टेट यूनिवर्सिटी सॉरी हाईवे डिपार्टमेंट काना स्टेट हाईवे डिपार्टमेंट so uh, again uh, just like the previous class i'll not be dealing with the theory part of the design method here so directly i'll start with the procedure or equations okay so here is the equation so displacement equation okay for single layer theory uh, as per the single layer theory deflection equation in this method is given by delta is equal to 3 uh, p a square divided by 2 into e Uh, a square plus z square raised to uh, one by two. Okay, so here uh, small p is the tire pressure, uh, which is given by p by pi a square, where capital P is uh, wheel load, and uh, uh, a is nothing but radius of contact area. So now here uh, uh, the method is based on the assumption that pavement is incompressible. So z itself becomes thickness of the pavement t okay so just rescheduling the equation so we have z is equal to as i said z is nothing but t uh, that is thickness of the pavement just because the pavement is assumed to be incompressible so now t is equal to rescheduling substituting small p is equal to capital p by pi a square we have 3 capital p divided by 2 pi e s into delta whole square minus a square raised to 1 by 2 here uh, capital p is Uh, wheel load e is modulus of elasticity of the subgrade delta is a deflection and uh, a as usual radius of contact area okay so if the tri axial test results are given okay as i said the design method is based on tri axial test on uh, pavement subgrade or subgrade soil so once the test results are given so the equation is modified as t is equal to where t is a t is a thickness of the flexible pavement 3p x multiplied by y divided by 2 pi e s delta whole square minus e square raised to 1 by 2 so these are nothing but uh, x and y we are going to include which are nothing but the x is uh, the traffic flow uh, coefficient and y is saturation rainfall coefficient that we obtain from the triaxial test so now uh, so this is the final equation uh, for thickness of the flexible pavement okay so now if it is a two layer system the pavement is assumed to be two layer system so then the equation is modified as capital t is equal to same 3 pxy divided by 2 pi es into delta whole square minus a square raised to 1 by 2 and it is being multiplied by the ratio of uh, modulus of elasticity of the subgrade to the modulus of elasticity of pavement layer raised to 0.33 here es is uh elasticity of the subgrade divided by elasticity of the pavement and the bottom layer divided by uh top layer okay so if the relation between thickness t1 and t2 of elastic modulus e1 and e2 is given by so t1 by t2 is equal to e2 by e1 raised to 0.33 and the subgrade bit 2 subgrade mele matte yer layer for example sub base course agirbodu athwa pavement course agirbodu adre surface course or bituminous concrete course agirbodu athwa sub base course sub base course agirbodu base course agirbodu so yerdu so pavement layer itself is made of two layers so then you can use this relation so t1 by t2 is equal to e2 by e1 raised to 0.33 t1 is thickness of the first layer uh t2 is thickness of the second layer e2 is modulus of elasticity of the second layer e1 is modulus of elasticity of the first layer so this is a equation for uh, thickness of the pavement in case of uh, if the pavement consists of two layers so if the pavement consists of single layer that is only of base course so then this is the uh equation for the thickness of the pavement so once uh, if you go through the problem or uh, we solve the problem so you will get to know clearly uh, how exactly uh, you are going to uh, apply this procedure or apply this theory so we'll see the problem <clears throat> you can see uh, design the pavement section by triaxial method using the following data so the data given is wheel load that is p is given 
कैपिटल पी फोर थाउजेंड हंड्रेड के जी रेडियस ऑफ कॉन्टेक्ट एरिया स्मॉल ए फिफ्टीन सेंटीमीटर ई एक्स दैट इज ट्रैफिक क्वेश्चन वन पॉइंट फाइव देन वाई रेनफॉल क्वेश्चन पॉइंट नाइन डिजाइन रिफ्लेक्शन डेल्टा इज गिवन पॉइंट टू फाइव सेंटीमीटर वैल्यू ऑफ सबग्रेड ओके वैल्यू वैल्यू ऑफ ई वैल्यू ऑफ सबग्रेड दैट इज मॉडल ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ऑफ द सबग्रेड इज गिवन एज थाउजेंड के जी पर सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर E value of base course, base course that is modulus of elasticity of the base course EB is equal to 400 kg per centimeter square. E value of 7.5 centimeter thick bituminous concrete surface course is 1000 kg per centimeter square. See in this problem it is clearly uh, given that the pavement layer itself consists of two layers that is one base course with the E value of uh, 400 kg per centimeter square. And bituminous concrete surface course with E value of thousand kg per centimeter square, and the thickness of uh, bituminous uh, course is seven point five centimeter. So we'll solve the problem. Okay. So data, as I said, P is given four thousand hundred kg. E value, uh, radius of contact area fifteen centimeter. X, uh, traffic coefficient one point five. Y, saturation rain, uh, rainfall saturation coefficient point nine. Delta point two five centimeter. Es that is uh, subgrades modulus of elasticity 100 kg per centimeter square modulus of elasticity of the base course is 400 kg per centimeter square modulus of elasticity of bituminous concrete course is given as 1000 kg per centimeter square okay so now assuming assuming that pavement consists of single layer of base course only first what we will do is so we will assume it as single layer and we will find out the total thickness okay so since it is we are assuming it as a single layer uh, single layer of base course so thickness equation is given by from the triaxial uh, equation that is t is equal to 3 p x y divided by 2 pi es delta whole square minus e square raised to 1 by 2 multiplied by es by ep raised to 0.33 so now t is equal to so substituting substituting the values uh, these uh, three p is 4000 k 100 kg uh, x is 1.5 y is 0.9 divided by 2 pi Uh, es is modulus of elasticity of subgrade is 100 kg per centimeter square and delta is 0.25 minus uh, radius of contact area is uh, 15 centimeter so so 15 square raised to 1 by 2 multiplied by this uh, this ratio that is 100 by es by ep uh, 400 raised to 0.33 so uh, after uh, solving this equation you will get thickness of the total uh, total thickness of the pavement layer as 65.9 cm now since uh, the pavement layer itself consists of two layers so uh, what we will assume is let 7.5 cm thick bituminous concrete layer with ec is equal to 1000 kg per cm square is equivalent to uh, the thickness of base course okay so now we assume that we 7.5 cm bituminous course with the thickness in kottidanalla so we will assume that as equal to the thickness of the base course so therefore t1 by t2 using the relation t1 by t2 is equal to e2 by e1 so here t2 and e2 uh, relates to uh bituminous concrete layer so t1 we don't know uh, divided by t2 is given that is uh, 7.5 cm so e2 is modulus of elasticity of concrete uh, that is 1000 kg per cm square bituminous concrete sorry so divided by e1 modulus of elasticity of the base course that is uh, uh, 400 kg per cm square raised to 0.33 so therefore t1 is equal to 10.2 cm so therefore required thickness of the base course is equal to total pavement course minus 10.2 that is uh, 55.7 cm so here if you don't understand this equation you can also write it as tb divided by tc is equal to